Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome to Frostpunk, the brand new game that I'm hoping will replace our Surviving Mars series. This is a survival slash city management builder type game, um, but apparently this is a whole lot more difficult than something as simple as surviving on Mars. This is for the big boys. This is serious, serious stuff. Now, fair warning to you, this game is uh, rated a 16 because of some strong language. I will do my best to remove any strong language so that we keep the family-friendly theme here at all times. Um, but just a word of warning, I may miss some. I don't know what it's going to be like. We will see as we progress through the game. So, a new home. What is going to happen? Wall drills are a good alternative to sawmills. They provide more wood and their source of wood doesn't run out. Okay. So apparently this is set. Uh, well, I don't know when it's set, but the world has become very, very cold. People working on emergency chests will become discontented. For some of them, the consequences may be more serious. Um, the world is very, very cold. It's like a massive ice age has gone throughout the world and uh, things have gone wrong. Southern countries and colonies were the first to fall, unprepared for something I didn't read we the rest of it. the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old, stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us. No matter wealth or class. We've lost our world to snow. With it, our last traces of humanity. We bid farewell to plenty, and for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Wow. Okay. I am officially impressed with that one. That was quite some opening sequence. The world has gone cold and we have escaped, a bare handful of us. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard and are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world we know, as we know it, has crumbled. We have to survive. And here is our new home. It is looking pretty swish already. There is our coal generator, or a, 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 any old generator. Right. Fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. Okay. How do you stockpile coal? Does anybody know how to play this game? Because I, I'm afraid I, I, I don't actually know how to do this. Um, right, so I've, I've got... Oh, there's, there's people here. Alexander Stanley. 
Not at risk of getting ill. He has no home. He has no workplace. Um, and his spouse is Bernice Stanley. What a remarkable coincidence that him and his spouse have the same same same, same surname. Right, tutorial summary. Here we go. Right, you can move the camera with your mouse while holding the right mouse button. You can also use the WASD keys or just move the mouse pointer to the edge of the screen. Zoom in and out. Use a mouse wheel. To rotate the camera, press the mouse wheel and move the mouse or use Q and E. Right, well, that's simple enough. Even Frithgar can cope with things like that. Right, uh, here we go. Tutorial. That's the camera control. So if we, let's just close that one. Here we go. Let's, let's try it out. So we can move. And we can rotate. Fan schmastic. There we go. And there is our beautiful, beautiful um, village and town. Um, right, so we have right over here. It's minus 20 degrees. This is the generator and it's off. The generator is not... We, we, we don't want the generator to be off, I believe. Uh, stockpiles. Coal, wood, steel, raw food, 100... Uh, wood 30 food rations right and tab no click right so there we go resources and workforce resource management is crucial to city survival you need coal to power the generator wood and steel are necessary for construction and research steam cores are a key part of advanced building raw food is used to prepare food rations in the cookhouse later in the game more types of resource may appear most buildings require to assign work uh, to assign people to work there. Certain buildings only employ engineers, and others only employ workers. To assign people to work, click on a workplace and use the assignment panel. So we've got to find a coal pile, and then we can assign somebody to go and work to it. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. No, there was another one there. Uh, tutorial. Ah, uh, no, no. We've we've done both of them. That's fine. Okay, so we go there. We want to find a resource pile. What is this? Coal pile. There we go. Workers. I don't want engineers on there. There are 50 workers and 15 engineers. I don't think we want these. Uh, workforce will extract coal. Requires at least one worker. Max, 15. Well, we'll go for 15 people on here because I figure it's probably going to be useful. We want, we want people to be here doing... doing the. Oh, there they go. Now, the thing is about this is that the snow is deep. Right, we've got chest deep snow that they've got to work through in order to be able to do anything, to accomplish anything. They've got to hack their way through all of this. And it's not easy. It's absolutely not easy at all for anybody. Very, very difficult and dangerous. What is that? Oh, that's uh just it just says coal pile. So uh, four hundred and what is this? Workforce will extract coal. I can't zoom in any further than that. That is, we can do this, but we can't zoom in any more than that, which is a bit of a shame. I'd like to be able to zoom in a little bit more and get like a closer graphic on it. That's all right. We don't mind. Look at this place. I actually quite like this. Biggest concern, lack of shelter, activity, resting. Right, well, let's, let's not worry about that. So they've managed to fight their way through. Does this mean that they're going to more easily be able to get back again once they've got some coal? They'll bring that back, and they should be able to bring it into storage, I guess. So we got storage. Oh! Right, so just because you see them over here, they, um, they're sort of going through it, but it is it's continuously working. It kind of works a bit like the Age of Empires approach, I think, is, is um, how we could best describe that one. Uh, that right there is steel. That is wooden crates. I got more coal over here. Now, I've got more people... I'm gonna. I got 35 available. I'm gonna assign another 15 people over there on that coal. We want lots of coal, so if I bring loads of coal to start with, discontent. Citizens need lack of shelter. Uh, no recent changes to hope. Right. So we got another group of people going out there. So now we got construction. You can speed up time by clicking the game speed buttons found on the left of temperature at the top of the screen. You can also uh, buy and keyboard shortcuts. Yada yada yada. Um, the game will slow down to normal speed when something important happens as well as each day at 0500. You can pause the game by pressing the spacebar. Sounds simple enough. Right, construction. Use the construction menu at the bottom of the screen to order construction or dismantling of buildings and streets. Only people who are not currently working at, uh, not currently at work can build structures. Buildings inside the heat zone are warmer and provide better living and work conditions. To make the best use of the heat zone, buildings are placed on a radial grid. All buildings must be connected to the generator by street in order to function. 
Okay, so we've got a radial grid around here. Everything in this game focuses on this generator. This generator is the lifeline to the entire city. Without this generator, everything goes wrong. Without the generator, nothing can happen. We need that generator running, and we need it running at all times, pretty much. It's, it is the most important aspect of the entire game. Uh, that much I do know. I've, I've, I've done some research. I've actually done research before I started a game. Who would have thought such a thing would ever have happened? Uh, we've got a coal deposit there. We can build a mine. We've got more coal over here. Uh, there's, there's wood and trees and stuff all the way round the edges here. We've got uh, another coal deposit. Finish your labors, people. The work day is up. What is that? Finish your labors. The work day is up. What does that mean? He said finish your labors. The work day is up. I think I can increase the... I, I did... Um, oh, we've got economy. We've got book of laws. Ooh, what's that? I don't even know what that is. No roof over our heads. Captain, people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold. We'd better do something about it. I'll provide some shelter. You'll have two days to provide shelter for 40 people. I'll provide shelter for everyone. You have two days to provide shelter for 80 people. I won't address this. We have to address these. Like, you, you've got these decisions that you have to make. And you have to make them. So I think we will say this. I will provide some shelter. It's not going to be brilliant. And one of the big things. I, I want to adjust. I want to alter some settings a minute. I've turned the music and stuff up a little bit. I don't know if the music is going to get me a copyright hit or not. Sometimes it does. But lately in games I haven't really had any issues with that. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going on hope here at the moment. Going on absolute hope that this is a soundtrack that we can use here. Okay. What's this? The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. Right. Now, we need to... Uh, right, hang on. Generator. Heart of the city. Only source of heat. You can research generator upgrades that raise the heat output, expand the heat zone, and reduce coal usage. How do we do that? Okay, close. Now, I've pressed pause at the moment. Steam level 1. 6 coal to turn on this level. Plus 1 temperature in all heat zones. 100% coal consumption. Inoperative at the moment. Consumption over here. 360 per day. Can I bring that down? Uh... Apparently I can't change that. Powered, upkeep, buildings. Okay, so we've got no buildings at the moment. And I'm stockpiling coal here. I need to stockpile 200 coal. Actually, I think we're doing alright for that. We're doing just fine. So we want to go to construction in here. And we've got health, food, resources, and tech. Workshop. A lab equipped with everything an engineer needs to develop designs for various buildings, technologies, and improvements. Base heating level 2. 15 wood and 5 steel. What have I got in the way of resources? We come out of there a second, and where's my where's my, oh there? I got to click on that one. I got 159 uh, steel. I got 10 wood. I got 30. Is that enough? Was that was that what I needed for this? 15 wood, five steel. I do have enough to do that, but I also need people tent. Uh, 10 wood to build that. Thinly insulated shelter for 10 people to sleep in. Base heating level one. Right. I. Well, I need to have this. I need to build these. So you've got to have everything connected by streets. I can go all the way through here. Does that mean I've... Have I got to have gaps in between them to, to go out into the next area? I don't know if I do or not. Right, but I want to build one there. And there. I'm going to leave a gap. Right, we're out of wood. So next up, I want to get people going after some wood. we got wooden crates there. Uh... 20 available. Max. Go. Right. I'll take it off of the spacebar bit now so that we've got some more stuff coming in. And if we look here, the moment I got zero wood. So we need people going out there to get the wood. I've already got people going after coal. 
Um, I know what I do need to do is I need to start the generator up, I think, because it's night time, isn't it? So we look here. Now, what, what do we do? A time. I want to look. At, oh, there it is. There's the time there. Free time. People on normal work shifts are free to see to their needs. I don't have anybody working extra shifts at the moment, so they won't do it until the morning. We do need to turn the generator on, I think. There. So we've got some heat. Now, it's using up coal. Temperature inside a building depends on the power setting of the generator. If the building is a heat zone, that building is insulation and the conditions outside. There are six temperature levels. Freezing, very cold, cold, chilly, livable and comfortable. Keeping homes and workplaces as warm as possible helps prevent people from getting ill. Some workplaces might become inoperative if the temperature falls too low. Anything else? Nope, there is nothing else. Right, so we've, we've got that one. Here we go. Where is the heat overlay? I want to um, economy there. Coal pile. Status, daily gain, efficiency, coal pile, workforce. I got, oh, so there's more coal piles over there. And then you've got, oh, I see. We got, oh, we, we got loads of stuff. No function, um, housing, uh, building, wooden crates, 15 of 15 people, daily gain plus 60. Right. They're working on this under construction, less than an hour remaining. We're going to have cold people tonight. I said I'd get them shelter. Uh, at least uh, Shelter for at least 40 people. We've activated the generator, but we're now using up the coal. We've got 10 people in a tent. This is a good start. This is an excellent start. They've got some warmth around here by the look of it. Now, what about over? Have I got an overlay that shows me the cold? Uh, 50 homeless people. That's not quite as serious as it once was. I'm looking for a book of laws. And then construction. Provide shelter. If I go to you, where does it... What is that? A generator stress level. The generator stress increases when overdrive is on. Right. Temperature overlay. Ah! There, yeah, so we can look at the overlay. Coal consumption, six coal per hour. Heat zone, range level two, not researched yet. So there's the heat. Everything is toasty warm around there. And then outside of that area is not so much. Okay, that's all we need to know. Let's zoom in. Everybody's going to be comfortable over here. That They're going to be just fine. I cannot build any more alone in the world. So we've got that tent there and we've got that tent there. I, I need more tents, but I can't do that until daytime. So let's fast forward the game speed. Let's fast forward the game speed again. Now it's going. Look at this. Where is our generator? It's absolutely hammering through four sick people. Some of them gravely ill. And it's gone back to... It's five o'clock in the morning, so they're off to work again. Uh, I need to find a way of making... How, how do I make people less ill? Oh, hang on. Another day, another shift, well, that's life. Let's get to work. We can't let up now. So let's look at uh, health right here. Medical post, base heating, day-night cycle. Cold homes or workplaces cause most people to get sick without proper care. They become gravely ill and might die. The sick can be treated in medical posts, but the gravely ill in infirmary, until you build one, you can save their lives by signing one of two laws. A radical treatment law allows you to treat the gravely ill in medical posts, but some of them will be left as amputees. The sustained life law allows you to keep the gravely ill alive, but untreated in medical posts or care house indefinitely. Ooh. Day and night cycle. City wakes up at 6. People have some free time until the work shift starts at 8, unless there's some construction work to do. After they finish a shift at 1800, they are free to help with construction again, which can keep them up well past midnight. You can extend the 10-hour work shift if you sign certain laws. Right. Let's close that. Now, we've got a, uh, another decision to make. Word of advice, critical shortage. A number of sick is rising. We don't have enough materials to build a medical post. Perhaps a short burst of effort can help us gather the necessary resources. Consider signing the emergency shift law. Ooh. Uh, well, we've got sick people. We don't want more sick people. Um, right, emergency shift. Sometimes we have to concentrate on the task at hand at cost of everything else or die. After introducing the law, another one could be passed after 
18 hours. New ability, you can force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours. Using the emergency shift will raise discontent. Discontent will ri rise slightly. Cool down two days. Let's do it. New law in the city. But that's our lot. Work, work, work until you die. Yeah, you look, you need me to keep you all alive. There's gonna be some tough choices here. One controversial law. So I need people to work. What is this? Workforce will extract steel. I've got five people available. What do I need for this? Uh, one worker. So I'll go max workers. There. Uh, put five people onto that one. So that is going to be some steel there. And then over this way, we got people working on coal. I haven't activated my law. Right, they are now off to work. We're down to 96 coal. So we need a lot of coal. We need lots of coal coming in. Um, if I go here into the building thing. So the medical post requires 25 wood. That's okay. We got people working on wood. I got more people working on steel as well. Hang on. No, I don't. What, what have I got? Uh, wooden crates. Oh, no. I got 15 people on there. I've also got five people going to work on the steel. So I've got something of everything coming in. That's good. And then if we look here for food, uh, cookhouse, 20 wood. People, I need 10 wood for the people. Resources, resource depot, extends our storage capacity for a chosen resource, coal, wood, etc, etc. Gathering post. People working here gather resources from nearby coal piles, wood crates, and steel wreckage. 15 wood, 5 steel. And then tech. Tech is the one that I actually want. There, workshop. 15 wood and 5 steel. But I need to do this first. I need the tent first. Now, I've got a gap there, so I'm going to leave that gap. And I'm going to do another gap on the opposite side of the circle. So I'll put that one there. Put that one in. And do I build another one? That's going to... That's going to yeah, I, I think I should. I think I should have shelter for everybody. I don't have the wood at the moment. It's going to slow things down a bit. But coal is coming in. Coal is pouring. And I'm about to have all the coal that we need. And I'm also very soon going to have all the houses that we need. I've got 15 engineers working there. There we go. We've got a quest done. Building the abilities. You unlocked a new building ability by signing a law. Building abilities can affect society in many ways. Each has a cooldown and many also a cost. You can find out more about a given ability in the building's panel. Abilities signed. Right. Uh, signing laws. Day and night cycle. Illness. Temperatures. We've, we've done all the rest of them. Uh, generator hums with reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves. Now food. There'll be no city if we starve to death. Secure a way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. Okay, the hope is risen. Secure raw food. Build a hunter's hut or a hothouse. Right. Into here. Food. Cookhouse there. 20 wood. That is another 20. Right, I need people build it. I need people on the, the wood over here. Workforce will extract wood. And they're going... Yeah, but they're, they're going to stop. i kind of desperate. How much food have we got? Book of Laws. Let's look in here. To sign a new law. Find ways to battle hunger, sickness, and apathy. Right, let's not sign any laws at the moment. Let's not be hasty. Let's go into here. So steel, we got 17. We got 22 wood. Everyone feels relieved with a roof, even a flapping one over their head. Hope rises. We've gained more hope. I've still got 40 homeless people, which I need to do something about. Uh, but I also, I need to secure the food. So, uh, the economy. Book of Laws, cooldown. Construction. I need the wood. I can't, what, ah, there. Cooldown, two days. People will work for the next 24 hours on the, the wood bit. That's the one that we need. Go for it. This facility will work constantly for the next 24 hours. So discontent has just ridden. Ridden? Risen. Discontent has risen. It's the, the discontent has ridden. We have ridden on the discontent. 
Okay, uh, we want to go back into building. Food. We've got a hunter's hut. And we've got a cookhouse. Right, I'm going to go for cookhouse as a most pressing matter at the moment. I can't put it there. There's not enough room. I think I can... I don't think I need streets, do I? This is the bit that I don't really know. If I put that there, are they are they going to be able to go in between? Yes, they can. So I can, I can build a complete circle all the way around. So I got that one there. That one's under construction. Food and hunger. Discontent and hope. Right, hope. Yeah, we want that up. Hope and discontent levels are crucial for the social stability of the city. There are many factors that can affect them. The most important are people's needs. When they're not fulfilled, discontent rises. Laws. Each law affects the mood of your society, so read the description of each law before you sign it. Buildings. By building certain facilities, you can raise hope and lower the discontent. There are many abilities in the game that can affect hope and discontent. These are the really, really important bits down here. Discontent and hope. One promise fulfilled, one main objective fulfilled. Temporary. Uh, we've got an emergency um, that's a temporary modifier and then we've got a lack of shelter which is a permanent modifier so we need to keep work we need to keep a close eye on that food the cookhouse prepares meals for people it produces two food rations from one unit of raw food raw food is provided by hunters and hothouses it is sometimes found by scouts during their exploration when there are no food rations to be had people will start eating raw food okay Two food rations, 30 raw food per day from a hothouse, 15 from a hunter's hut. Right. So we want to build a hunter's hut. We definitely need a hunter's hut. We've got to provide food. We've got a cookhouse here. That is currently being built. Remaining time less than an hour. And if we look in here, our food rations are 100 raw food. Food rations are zero, but we're about to turn rations. There we go. Let's just see this one built a second there we go we now have oh i gotta assign people to work here max 15 of eight, oh, five people let's just go five of five in there for a minute build a cookhouse start preparing meals the shift is ending, the shift is ending. apart from people who are co uh, busy collecting wood and that is crucial we need them to keep doing that then over here we're gonna need more food now at the moment we've got 100 raw food and we got food rations there how long does it take for food rations what are you doing standard meal cookhouse will produce four food rations from two food how long does it take to do that i might need to put these on an emergency shift we've only got raw food at the moment storage workers resting of course it's the end of the shift isn't it okay what do we got in the way of timber um wood i got 42 wood so i've got enough to make right I, I, shelter first we've got some raw food so i'm going to say shelter first i'm going to say shelter is the single most important so one two three and uh-oh can i build another one on the outside can i put one not adjacent to street I need to build another street, don't I? That's four there. That's that's going to be everybody has got. That that will be everything. So then I can go into. I need the medical post, which is twenty-five wood. Food. I need the hunter's hut, which is twenty wood. Build street. How do we? How do you build a street? Like that. I guess you you go straight out. Do you out here? I don't know how to build a street. Ah, like that. Oh, that's a street. Is that is that a street? Building streets. I, I don't know. I'm confused. We do that. But there's... Oh, I see. So the, Right, so you can use all... It looks like we can use all the space in between them. I'm going to have a look. Over, actually, no. I'm going to go over here. We've got some established buildings over here. There is an established building. So let me see about building a... What do, what do I need to build a street? Build a street. From there. Mine, oh, it does take wood. It takes timber. I want to go to there. Just like that. So I've, I've got that street there. Right. That comes out there. And then I'm gonna, I guess I need to like put it in a loop all the way around. Is that how it works? I'm not really sure. I'm very confused by this. I have ten, ti I have ten pieces of timber. 
30. Uh, we've got four sick people. 20. It's all coming down. The hope is rising and the discontent is lowering. This is fantastic. There is, there's our street down there. And it goes out to... We just kind of keep moving it out in this circle. That's what we need. So I want like a main thoroughfare coming out through here, I think. I'm not really sure. How, how do I do that? I'm going to build another one right next to it. I'm going to put one there. I can put... I think I can put street that goes around the outside edge of there. So then I can put some more buildings. So I could put like a hunter's hut. Can I? Or can't I? I don't know. I am very curious if I... Can I do this? So I'm going to need to build that out to there. And then that... Yes, you do. You go round the back of it like that. So um, I, I do actually need to put uh, something all the way around the back. Hope is up. Discontent. One emergency shift is on. So we've got some discontent. And then we've got hope here. One main objective. I need to secure a rude... Uh, a rude... <laughs> I need to secure a rude food supply. A raw food supply might be a bit better. I think we'll go for a raw food supply rather than a rude food supply. And the... the so, yep, yeah, oh, there we go. Look, they've built some roads out this way. You can introduce a new law. What law would I introduce? Find ways to battle hunger, sickness, and apathy. Adaptation. Emergency shift. Child labor safe job, child shelters. Cemetery, corpse disposable, uh, disposal. Radical treatment, sustain life, soup, food additives. Fighting arena. I'm not gonna bring, I'm not gonna put any more laws in just for a minute. We'll, we'll wait on the laws. We, we may be glad of having um, just held, just hang fire just a minute. Now, what I need to know is, I've got these houses. Can I still build the hunter thing? I got 20 wood. Hunter's Hut. There. Is that going to be close enough? Not adjacent to street out there. So how close do you... How, I'm not really sure how close I should be building these things. So this is pure guesswork at the moment. I think this one is out of range, though. i got a bad feeling about that one. i got a feeling he's going to be too far away. Right, Hunter's right there. Leave the city to hunt in the Frostland for food. They work from 6 p.m. until 6 a.m. Initially, they bring up to 15 units of raw food from each hunt. Research upgrades to significantly increase the hunt yield. So they work by night. Okay. Close that one. Now, if we go back to this one over here, our current coal... I want to go for temperature overlay. Oh, they're fine. The hunter's hut is comfortable. It's, it's absolutely... They've got no issues whatsoever. Everybody has got comfortable temperatures out here, so I can build another layer all the way around and everybody will be happy. That's good. That is a very good thing. Right. Uh, six coal per hour at the moment. Consumption. There. Oh, I see. Right. So that's, that's how much we can do. Building upkeep general. There. Right. This is, this is a good thing. Uh, unemployed. I got 10 people unemployed at the moment. What's this? 15 children. So I may, you can actually like uh, introduce child labor laws later on and um, have the kids working. Oh, hang on, right. Well, they're doing, I need to speed this up a bit. Let's, let's go a bit, let's go super fast until morning. Wood crates depleted. They're all gone now. So these people can rush in and warm up. I need to start the next, uh, build a sawmill. What is this? Wood crates right there. Max, bring 15 people in there. At least we're alive. Not everyone's so lucky. I've got to hold on. People are depending on me. Right, discontent. Lack of medical care. One emergency shift. Hope is good. We've got something going on here. What is this? We're getting short on resources. Our needs are great and growing by the hour. To address this, we can enact a law that will allow us to extend working hours. Ooh, can extended shift law. Right, emergency shift. Extended shift there. Building a city in this frozen hell requires sacrifice. People will get more done if they work longer shifts. After introducing this law, another one could be passed after 18. New shift length. You can extend the workday in any facility to 14 hours. Working overtime causes discontent. Discontent will rise slightly. Do we do it? I think we're going to need to. 
I think we need to raise the amount of work being done. It's not an ideal situation. I know many will complain, but we must work harder to survive. What? Ten hours is it enough? I suppose in our circumstances. Yeah, you're absolutely right in our circumstances. With basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout Frostland, and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. You'll need a workshop to design plans for more advanced buildings. Right. Discontent. Temporary modifiers, one controversial law and one emergency shift. Lack of medical care. We need to build a workshop, a beacon, and rescue survivors. Our hope is doing well. Uh, people have got a lot of hope. This content is not too low at the moment. That's, that's doing okay. We've got some metal over steel over here. We've got wood over there, which they're going to work on. we got coal up here. 279 there. And then I got more coal over here. We've got 197 coal. I've got to be very careful of this. What else have we got in the way of resources? I got coal pile there. A coal pile there. That is a coal deposit where I'll need a mine. Uh, this one here, I don't have anybody available. Ooh, inoperative. I need workers. No workers. Right. Uh, if I look in my storage section over here, I've currently got 345 coal. So if I go over to here... No, I don't, I'm not interested in Fred Wade. Fred, you're fine. You're doing fine, right. Reduce this down by five workers. And then here... Oh, I can... Max. Take five. Uh, is one group working permanently on the coal fields enough? Can I swap them over to food? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, reduce it down to five. Like that. And then I'm going to put five more working in here. So we've got a supply of food coming in. That's ten per day. Let's have a look here. So we've got uh, 40 food rations. I want to have a look at the food rations a minute. How are we doing for food? Raw food. Really? Oh, food, ra food rations has really gone up now. we got 20... Yeah, the, the food itself has gone down. But we've got loads of food rations. We're using 10 per day. Oh, no, production 10 per day. It doesn't We don't have... No resource depots have been built yet. Coal is 400 out of 900. So I think we're actually doing okay. I could probably... I can go none on that one. I can stop that deposit completely. Which means that I can then put more hunters going for a while. And we're going to boost that one up. And then our next task is going to be... Sort of... Uh, actually, it's got to be this. Uh, for hungry people. Nobody's starving, but we got some hungry people. Why aren't you functioning? You are functioning. Could not resume production requires... Oh, I see. Requires raw food. Well, that's okay, because over here, look, I've got 166 food rations. So we're not, we're not eating the raw food anymore. We got raw with... Out of the 300, that's looking good. And then I got 8, 6, 0 gravely, 4 hungry, 0 starving. This is, this is alright. Healthcare. We, we're after healthcare. I'm running out of time for today. We're going to have to carry on with this tomorrow, I think. Right, 25 wood. This has got to be the next item that we want. I can't squeeze it in that slot. I could put it back there. That would actually work out quite nicely. I don't really know how... What What is the best way to, like, position all of these things? I'm not really sure. Should I be doing it out there around there and then, like, leave a big gap? Or do I, like, squeeze it? I think we've got to squeeze it in as tight as we can. Yeah. Squeeze it in as tight as we can. i got some road there. Let's bring this over and uh, go to construction here a minute. And then I'll go to road. So I've got road out to there. And road out to there on that. So I think we want to put road around everything. I think that makes it better. And it also makes it faster for them to travel. So if I like bring um, road all the way out here, it, it makes it easier. What's that? Oh, it's something to do with that. The, um, the, the coal thing. Right. So we've then got to build a workshop, build a beacon and rescue survivors. 
This is all stuff that we've got to do. But I've kind of run out of time for today, I think. We're going to have to carry this one on. I will very likely come back to this one tomorrow. I am thoroughly enjoying playing this game. We're, we're raw food less than an hour. Yeah, we know that. But we got a load of food rations. We're all right for food at the moment. Um, and then the rest of it was just kind of, yeah, hopefully we can keep the... we got five hungry people. Discontent. Bad health care. So discontent is pretty good at the moment. I think we're all right for discontent. Yeah, okay, so if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.